right here by the boat. I still got it? Yeah. Little guy and a worm. It's a Sunday morning. We're out here on Lake Toho fishing on a spot that I normally have all to myself. And there's boats all over the place because there's a little club tournament going on. And they're all over top of where I've been fishing every day, but whatever. That's our second fish of the day. I didn't have my camera set up again when he busted a four and a half pounder Jake back there on that dual pitch from 13 fishing. So we're out on this shell bed. It's, a, it's really sunny. I don't know how long they'll bite here. But I'm just throwing a worm, they're throwing top water. They both had other bites that we missed because they just come up and crush them and somehow don't get all those treble hooks in them. Um, we're gonna be out here for about six hours a day, beating around the lake, seeing what we can catch. Um, see this right here? It's my buddy, Kevin Cook, Pilot Me Fishing. I'll throw a link on my video to his deal. Great guy, Kevin, gave me this shirt this morning. I don't think he knows I'm wearing it. But he has a little, he started a little deal where he takes underprivileged kids fishing. He takes all kinds of people fishing for free. Check out his Facebook page, check out his Instagram. I'll throw a link in the description. He's got a real good deal going, he's a great guy. Go check that out, start following him, see what he's got going on. But we will be here, out here all day, dodging local tournament boats. Stay with us. Oh, there you go. We can get that one on camera though. Oh, nice one. I got, I got a treble hook reel to pull so you don't go away with holes in your hand. Where's my, uh, man, that sounded a lot bigger when he crushed it, didn't it? Did. it? So that's on that dual pitch again. That brings your total weight up now from four and a half pounds to about five and a half. <laughs> There's another one blowing up right there. I'll drop the talons down here and hold us right here. I think we're on the mother load of them. back at me lost that one there are so many boats out here right now it's incredible one two about 15 boats probably within sight of us some people are bluegill fishing some people are bass fishing but apparently most people think this is the only place on Lake Tahoe you can catch a fish topwater bites almost dead and they're starting to hit this big worm so we're probably gonna switch over and then get out of here in a little bit and go fish somewhere else. Man, I should not have thrown over there. Well, that looks like a nice one. I know. Oh, yeah. Look at that thing. That one might be famous here tomorrow. <laughs> wow. Holy smokes. Nice. On the worm. On a top secret brush pile. Not a fish attractor. Brush pile. On the big DOA worm. Had that little top water bite this morning. It died off because it is bright blue skies and two mile an hour breeze. 
Lake Tahoe Special, about a five pounder, probably. Nice fish. I did not want to get this fish. I don't think Jake wanted you to catch it. Yeah, I hate when I catch big fish when I'm guiding. <laughs> It happens though because mainly I'm, you know, I have to fish sometimes to try and help figure out what's going on. Sure. So that is promising though because usually if you catch one off of a brush pile, there's more. You can throw right into the same exact spot, like towards straight towards that boat. Okay. Maybe to the left of them a little bit. Okay. There's times we've caught six and seven fish off of one little tiny brush pile. And they don't even care that the whole brush pile just got all jacked up because you caught one on it. They'll just, I think sometimes it stirs everything up. Good. Oh, there he goes. All right. Ooh, ooh. Oh, ooh. Oh, I got one too on the fluke while I'm watching you. Look at that. Hey. We haven't had a bite in forever. I'm watching you and I about donated a rod to Lake Tahoe. It was that right off the corner of the pads? Yeah. About right where I cast it, I think. I must not be holding my mouth right today. Well, this one took a lot of technique. I, I saw that. I threw it out there and watched him and then almost let him have my rod. Been very slow. It's a hundred and 64 degrees now. We had a blind mosquito incident where we were covered, mainly him, with bugs that don't bite. And they're not biting very good for whatever reason. There's a few love bugs. And then we have a double out of nowhere. His was skill involved and mine was not paying attention involved. Got him? Yeah. Somebody's on a lily pad pattern. I, ju I just had you in the wrong kind of cover all morning. You should have told me you were a lily pad guy. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Jeez. Your dad tried to take you out while you were uh, reeling that fish in. <laughs> Getting a little bit bigger. Is it around the edge of those pads? Need another worm? What's that? Need another worm? Uh, yeah. Alright. We have about 200 of these left, so. You want to be right here? You got it. Thanks. Got him? Put him in the line, boat. Dude. Watch your line. Moral victory. Yeah. Actually, not a bad one. I didn't get skunked after all. You haven't put one in the boat yet? That's the first one you put in the boat? Okay. He's on your butt now. Right behind you. So all, you got, all he's got to do is catch a four. Nine. Ten pounder and I'll be caught back up with you. Was that out a little bit? Uh, when he hit yeah, it? About halfway back. Sometimes when it's slow on this lake, you just gotta put on a worm and start fishing grass lines. Especially as we get into the summer. Look, he caught a fish and made the wind pick up and everything. He's about to change. Top water. There we go. Stay on the hook.
You've caught, you've caught twice as many as you had before. That's right. <laughs> you always got to look at the positive part That's of it. That's right. You, you doubled your catch number on this lily pad patch. Monster. Seven yeah. pounds. Here, take a picture. That'll be a seven pounder in about six years. Yeah. Caught. Up video. Keep fishing though. Try and catch one while I'm doing it. Like six to seven pounds. No pressure. We're about to call it a day. It's about 12:30. Been out here about six hours, and it has not been the most active day on Lake Toho. We had a whole bunch of boats around us this morning. I think I found that spot for most of the people but whatever, I don't own the lake, so they can fish wherever they want. Kind of messed up our schooling spot a little bit, but since then, it's been pretty tough. We caught fish about every place we stopped, but it is dead calm. We got some gnats flying around us. We had some blind mosquitoes, and the love bugs are still around, but all that stuff's usually fine if the wind's blowing, but it has been flat all day, and he did stick that good one this morning on a topwater plug, and we missed a couple. Of course, I didn't get that one on video, but I did get the picture of it. But other than that, it's been all Texas Rig Trick Worm, or the 8-inch DOA CAL, that black with blue flake. Just Texas rigging it. Sometimes here on Lake Toho, when the fishing gets real tough, you have to just slow down, especially when the water's low, and start throwing at grass, grass edges. The offshore bite wasn't that good today, for whatever reason. But we managed to pick off three out of the little lily pad patch. And as always, um, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Leave me some comments. And that's about it. You guys got anything to say? No. Nothing to say. See you next time. Go fishing with Chuck. Go fishing with me when it's windy, not when it's dead calm.